just one kudu, as far as I can tell, but you never know where there's one, there's often many. But he is utterly gorgeous with his face paint on and those beautiful spiraling horns. And something off to the east of him has attracted his attention. He's very, very focused. And I've been trying to listen to hear what he's heard. Oh, nice little dribble there. I've been trying to focus on what he's heard, but unfortunately, even with my hands cupped behind my ears, I won't be able to match the hearing of this magnificent animal. So he's definitely heard something. He's been very cautious. But it could easily be just the rustle of a bird. He hasn't alarm called. There, he's looking back again. It pays to be cautious when everything wants to eat you. What have you heard, boy? Whatever it is, he's decided it's okay. And he's got his passengers with him in the form of one adult and one juvenile oxpecker. The juvenile is starting to get the reddish color to its bill, going through the yellow phase. <laughs> they look so puffed up and cold. I don't know what they're complaining about. They've got the warmth of the kudu to help to keep them warm. That's like a hot water bottle. Or underfloor heating is perhaps a better description. Off he goes. His passengers in tow. Perhaps just being extra specially cautious because this is a true thicket around here. And who knows what might be lurking. <laughs> 